the format of being robot. Day 1. It's Christmas break. I was in my cabin, sitting at my desk and playing Roblox. I scrolled through the games while sipping my hot chocolate. My eyes landed on the Underground War by Stickmaster Loop. To my surprise, there were actually a lot of players, so I decided to play it. The second I joined, a powerful wave of nostalgia hit me. I joined in 2009, so this made me feel young again. After a few minutes of playing, it was actually more enjoyable than I predicted it to be. I almost forgot how old the game was. My full focus was on the game, and my hot chocolate was getting cold. It was almost like I time traveled back to 2009. The only and ordinary thing that was going on was the rapid speed of players leaving the server. Every minute, a player disappeared. I didn't think anything of it at the time, so I decided to continue playing. The amount of players leaving really only caught my attention, when I noticed that I was the last one left in the server. I was slightly skeptical, but I brushed it off as another coincidence. I was about to leave. When I opened the menu, I realized that I wasn't actually alone. There was one other person in the server with me. He went by the name of, Happy Time 927. I searched all around the map for him, yet I couldn't find anything. He wasn't saying anything. I decided to end the silence by asking him where he was. Hey, where are you? I am happy. He said in all capital letters. Ha, huh, do you know how to play? He didn't respond. I was creeped out, but I figured that it was probably just another clueless person, who is new to the game and isn't the best at speaking English. That was until he started saying more creepy, strange and almost concerning things in the chat. You are happy. I decided not to respond. I continued to look around the map for him. After a few minutes, I found him in one of the underground tunnels. His face was pressed against the wall, and he wasn't moving. Hello. I asked him. After that, I immediately left the game. I know it's going to make me look like a pussy, but that was terrifying. I could hardly sleep last night. I guess I'll update you guys if anything else happens. Day 2. The chirping birds woke me up. I got out of bed, forgetful of what happened yesterday. I turned my laptop on. As soon as I opened Roblox, the game I played yesterday appeared in the Continue Playing section. That made me remember everything. I remembered his username, so I searched it up. There was a green icon on the corner of his profile picture, indicating that he was playing a game. I was curious. As I scrolled through the servers of yesterday's game, I kept an eye out for the unsettling character of his. I eventually reached the end. I saw what looked to be him. He was in an empty server, all by himself. So I joined the server. The chat had been filled with him rambling on about happiness, and how everybody should be happy. I looked through the chat for a while, and then I found something seriously concerning. I saw the chat from yesterday. The one that said, you are happy. This discovery sent chills down my spine. Has he really been staying in the server all night, just talking to himself? I went to look for him. And when I found him, he was in the same exact spot he was yesterday. This was absolutely bizarre. I stared at him for a minute, before he turned around and looked at me. This made me jump. I didn't say anything, but he did. Do you want to see my happy place? He asked, again in all caps. I stood silent, as I was too afraid to speak. He left the server. My inquisitiveness led me to seeing what his happy place was. I went on his profile and looked at his creations. There was one game. In all capital letters, it was called, Happy Place for Happy People. There was one person playing, which was most likely him. I joined the game. The sky was a dark unsettling and depressing sign-like color. The grass was very green, and there were some flowers in a field. A pitch black house was in the middle of the map. When I walked in, I saw a cake on the floor. There was also a rose on the windowsill. I saw him in the server, but I couldn't find him. I jumped out the window, still searching. That's when I found a dog house. And there was a blood stain on it. I was grossed out. I stared at the dog house for a few seconds, before noticing his eerie character at the edge of the map. 
I walked over and looked at him. He quickly turned to me, causing me to have a mini heart attack. When I moved side to side, his whole body also turned that direction. He was watching me, with every move I made. I left the game out of pure fear. From now on, I will try to forget about this spy. He hasn't let me get enough sleep. Thanks for reading, I guess. Day 3. I never thought I would be writing this. It all went down pretty fast, so if this part seems rushed, don't judge me. I'm still trying to process everything. I was playing some Doomspire Brick Battle. This was basically my feel-good game that took away all my stress. I was on green team, and I was absolutely destroying everybody else. I was doing better than usual. I felt happy as I was about to bomb red team's last spawn. But right as I was about to place it down, I heard footsteps from behind me. I quickly pulled out my sword, ready to fight. But the player who came down the stairs wasn't just any ordinary player. It was Happy Time 927. This made me come close to literally shitting myself. I thought I had already gotten rid of this person. Why are you still following me? I asked. You aren't happy. He responded. He needs everyone to be happy. Who needs everybody to be happy? My master. These two words managed to distress me more than anything he's ever said. This person has a master. Who needs everybody to be happy? This puzzled me, while also making me shiver. I left the game, hoping that he would leave me alone. This hope failed me. I joined my friend's game. I needed to tell him what was going on. He was in his own game, called, Testing Place LOL. He seemed to be testing some sort of script. There's been this weird dude following me around in every game I joined. Ha. Huh. He responded. Yeah. It's a long story. Tell me bro. I proceeded to tell him everything that's been happening. When I started to talk about the Doomspire Brick Battle encounter, the player joined us. Oh hell no. My friend said. Why'd you lead him into my game? He's gonna kill me or something. The player followed us as we stepped back. We eventually reached the edge of the base plate that my friend was testing his script on. The strange person eyed both of us down. Then he started to talk, which was never a good sign. You aren't happy anymore, he said. These words put me in a stage of confusion that I have never felt before. Does he know about what happened last Saturday? Because since that day, I have not been happy anymore. I would tell you guys what happened on the day, but it's kind of personal, so I rather wouldn't. At that point, I just shut off my computer. I don't think I'm going to play Roblox for a while. This is the end of the story. Please find more info about this man. He scares me. Hey, it's me again. The guy that has been stalked by the mysterious user, Happy Time 927. Nothing has really happened since the three traumatic days, but I have an update. My friend and I connected the oddities, and there is a chance we know the backstory behind this guy. First of all, let's take a look at his freakishly eerie game. I described how this game looked in the actual story. You can go take a look at it for yourself if you want to. The game is called, Happy Place for Happy People. This game has many blood-curdling features. For example, the pitch black house in the middle of the map. Also, the unsettling sign sky really adds on to the distressing feel of the game. But there are things that aren't just creepy because of the look of it, but creepy because of the possible backstory. The dog house. A key feature that you could easily miss. This dog house is located on the right side of the house. It is next to a small patch of flowers. When you look at it from behind, it seems fairly ordinary. But when you see the front, you will shiver. This dog house has blood in front of it. What could this be indicating, you ask? Max and I figured it out. Trigger warning, the next two paragraphs, along with the second to last paragraph, could potentially be triggering for some readers. Reader discretion is advised. The blood in front of this dog house could mean that Happy Time's dog was brutally murdered by his master. If you read the first part you would understand who this master is. The reasoning behind his actions will be explained later on. This devastating death of his dog could be part of the reason Happy Time acts the way he does. 
The reason he acts like this could be caused by some sort of mental illness. Another thing that could make him have a mental illness is his master. From what Max and I figured out, this master could be forcing him to be happy at all times. If people are forced to feel one emotion for the rest of their lives, chances are they will go insane. Who is this master? Well, this could be anyone. Max and I think this could be his dad. There is no specific evidence backing this observation up. Now why did the master kill Happy Times Dog? Maybe this could be how the man shows his dominance. It could be the master's way of showing what will happen if the kid doesn't obey his rules. This is the end of the backstory so far. There could be a sequel to the story if this gets enough attention. Maybe even a trilogy if any of you guys want. Thanks for reading.